little different video today. We're talking about feet. I'm not a fan of feet, really. Um, I think they're weird looking. But we all, most everybody has them. And so, um, <clears throat> I don't know if anybody have ever been on a cruise, or if you've been on a cruise, you've seen the people doing like the uh, walking or foot analysis, things like that. So, I've seen it many times. I was curious about it. So, I said, well, let me give it a shot. And I did. <clears throat> and I don't know how accurate it is because, you know, or how great of an analysis it is. I, I think it's, it's pretty okay. But the reason I say this, you have this ink pad that you walk across. And as you walk, you're kind of deliberately putting one foot on that ink pad for it to make this impression. So you're trying to judge it and make sure you plant on the spot where you need to. So maybe you're intentionally shifting something, you know. Um, I think if you had, if you walked across a, a floor and it did an imprint all the way, you know, you're, 15, 20 steps, that might be a little bit different. So, <clears throat> I did it one time, the um, first day of the cruise, I got on there and I said, let me try this. I've always wanted to, hey, I can say no if I don't like something, that's not a problem. I tried it out, he said, these are the insoles you need, it's a certain size, it was a five and a half, what have you. Now, if you look on, <clears throat> uh, there's this website you can look on, and since for my size shoe, which is an 11, the starting point is a 7. So, but then at the bottom it says this is just the starting point. Uh, the actual, you need to be fitted to kind of see what you really need. All right. And all this is going to be important in just a minute. Just wait. So, I did it. I put them in my shoes and I'm like, this really does feel good. Um, it's, it's not really a... Ah, uh, comfort thing. It's more of a you're in the right position now type thing. Um, kind of like almost like the feeling after a chiropractic adjustment or something of that nature. So these are the insoles. It's just a stiff but bendable piece of plastic that needs to be so it can kind of take shape of your foot. And the whole idea is to get in that instep right there and lift up your foot in the proper position. So, you know, if your foot's been fatigued and falling and everything else, that's going to, you know, you're going to start to um, lean in, start, the you know, spine starts going in, things like that. You can lift it up. It, it, that's where the relaxing uh, feeling comes from. So, first day of the cruise, I'm like, uh, no thanks, whatever we'll think about it. He's like, okay, well, here, here's the prices. <clears throat> you know, um, they're 200 bucks a pair, and which is pricey, <clears throat> less than custom orthotics. Um, more than most any other orthotics you're going to get over the counter, things like that. They're not custom fit to your foot, but they are, I guess, custom selected in that you have multiple, there's probably, you know, 50 or 60 different sizes. So they, they take a look and see which one best accommodates your foot based off your imprint and everything else. And you try it out and see if you like it. That being said, First time I was sized up at like a five and a half. Second time, he tells me I need a size four. And I'm like, hold on, hold the phone here. Why? And that created a little bit of confusion because there's a language gap or language barrier and everything else. But we made it through. Uh, nice kid from Argentina. And <clears throat> so what we really did, he's like, all right, either one will work for your foot. He pulled out, he's like, I don't, I don't know why I did that. He says, what we do is we take the in, the insole and basically there's a point right up in here towards your I believe that's your metarsal whatever it's called uh, is where it should kind of stop and you want this insole this ridge raised part where your foot is right there so you can see that comes in pretty nicely all right this is the four I set it on the four I tried for about an hour and a half I tried a four a five a five and a half in different ways and everything. And what he told me basically was, you want to almost not feel it. Well, I could feel the five and a half pretty good. And I, I do think that would have been a great option, a great fit. And if I ever get another, I'll probably get a five and a half, actually. I am going to try a seven since that's what it says I should wear, um, just to see what it feels like. But the four and a half works great. I've worn them for, you know, 
multiple, multiple hours a day and have, have never had any issues. I've never had to take them out. I didn't really have much of an adjustment period. A lot of times with insoles, things like that, even with these, they tell you to try them out for a while. If they start hurting your feet, you know, a couple hours at a time, take them out and everything else. Also, I found interesting to note was my imprints on both tests, different days and everything, and the guy didn't recognize me at first, they were the same. I'll show you, if you look where the dark spots are, they're circled on this one, they pretty much match up. I mean, this is just a, this is just a darker copy. It is all more ink on it, whatever. So I'm like, all right, this is pretty legit. And my wife's was completely different. So I'm like, okay, there's something to this. is isn't just everybody gets this test and everything else. And we took the time to, to measure it out and everything else. Now we'll talk to you about the price for a minute. Okay. Um, if you want to get them, try to get them with somebody else because it goes, you know, your second pair is, is just a hundred dollars. So you get two pair for 300. So uh, 150 a piece versus 200 a piece. So that saves you a lot. Uh, if you got cruise credits, you don't know what to use them on. That's a great option. And I've, I've read many, many things. You have to kind of dig deep to find stuff, whatever. But so that's another reason I'm making this video because there's not a lot of stuff out there about it, which was like, you know, what am I going to do or whatever. But anyway, um, after digging deep, a lot of people, I, a lot of the negative comments are about the price. It's about people that didn't buy it. Okay. The positive comments I've seen, people that have had it, they loved it. And number one thing I see is how long they last. People say, forget the life time they tell you they last on here but several comments were like they lasted seven eight years what have you um still have them and probably last another seven or eight years so if you take 200 and divide it into 10 years that's not bad you're spending more than that per year on a pair of insoles and probably not getting the same effect the other benefit is you can wear these i have not found a shoe yet i can't wear these in i have a box full of insoles and I can wear this one in this shoe, this one in that shoe, and it's just, it's never one size fits all. This, so far, has been one size fits all. So for like Crocs or tennis shoes, things like that, there's a Velcro piece on the bottom there. You can tell it's been used, got hair on it, whatever. And you just put that in there in your shoe. That's, that's the wrong side. They do have left and right on the bottom there. It pops in that piece of Velcro, and that's it. Take it out when you're done, and you're good to go. Um, <clears throat> mine came with a foam insole to go over the top, and it's about that much too short. So, you know, would the five and a half fit better? I don't know, but I, I have not found a need really for that insole. Um, I have worn another, I've worn a massaging insole, the, the gel, um, the uh, glycerin filled insoles. I put that on top and it was pretty good. It was a little too much, you know, action, too much massaging and everything for a day. Had to take it out, you know, towards the end of the day. It was just like exercising your foot too much, kind of. Um, but you can put something on top of it, it's fine. But 99% of the time, I, I wear these every day and I just put them in whatever shoes I'm wearing for that day. And I don't put anything on top, and it's it's been great. Never been an issue. They don't shift around. Even if I don't have the Velcro in that shoe, I, I haven't really had an issue with them shifting around or anything. Uh, Mormon cowboy boots all day Sunday. They were fine for that. Uh, it's been a great thing. Another thing, at, at the end of it, so I spent a lot of time with this guy the second uh, fitting, the guy on the cruise ship. And <clears throat> I pretty much said, all right, I'll get them. That's fine. I'll, I'll try them out, whatever. I said, well, hold on, do you got them in your shoes? I don't know why it took me that long to ask. Ripped the shoe off right there, showed it to me. I said, okay, I'm sold, I'm sold. Um, any questions, whatever I, I, I didn't cover that you may have, feel free to leave in the comments. I'll, be, I'll try to cover those. Uh, these are great, I will buy them again. They are from the Good Feet Company. Good Feet, now this is the other part of their sales pitch, whatever. Goodfeet.com, you can see it. That's the company, everything else. There's all the pricing written down, all right? 
uh, plus no tax or anything else. You go to a Good Feet store, you look it up, you go in there, they'll do a custom fitting, and they try to sell you on a three-piece set, which is three sets of insoles. There's one you wear, I think, to kind of start, and then a second one is a maintainer or everyday type thing, and then one a relaxer, which you probably never, is for like slippers and flip-flops, things like that. Maybe it just has the least amount of effect, I don't know. I haven't tried it. I do want to go to the store and get fitted, see you know what differences are, any things like that, just, just to have the experience and talk to you about it later. But this is the second one in the set, I'm told. That's the one that you would use the most for 200 At the Good Feet store, it's going to be, and you can look this up, it's going to be close to 500 per insole. So you're not going to get out of a Good Feet store with that three-piece set spending less than $1,500, sometimes more, because they'll add... You know, like a comfort insole on top of it. I'll try to say a, a pair of shoes, like, hey, dudes, um, and all this thing else. So, a lot of time, I've seen a lot of tickets over well over 2,000. <clears throat> so, 200 compared to 2,000, I'm okay with that. That's that's a significant saving. Exact same company, exact same product. Um, well, maybe not the same, pro same thing. Uh, there's a difference in the model numbers. Like, this is SLS 4,000, and the only place you're going to find it. Is two places. I can't even find it on eBay or Macari or anything. Um, on a cruise ship, most all the cruise ships have them that I've, I've noticed. Or time2spa.com. Okay? As your secret, you heard it here. You go right now. I get nothing from this. I just went online and I seen they have this special right now. Um, I. <clears throat> it is buy two products, get one free. You could get three pair of insoles, and online they are, they are, well, okay. You can't get the SLS 4000, but they have, I think it's an everyday uh, insole. Also, the they have an active wear insole. Um, both are the same prices, everything else. Figure out what size you want to go with. And I don't want to tell you about the sizing, everything else, buying it online. I, I don't know. And I don't know if the Good Feet store uses the same, like, 2 through 11 sizes or whatever they use on these. Um, I'll find that out and see. But if you know what you have or if you had them before, maybe you got sized on the cruise and you didn't pull the trigger, you can go there and you can buy them, tied them to spa.com, or you can you know, go off their chart. I don't know. I haven't really looked into the return policy. If you want to try a different size of return or what have you, I don't know. Uh, but time to spa.com buy two them free and that's for anything also Elemis products um, Elemis apparently is a really good People really love their skincare line. I haven't tried it. I keep hearing a lot about the shave gel I'm gonna get some try it and we'll report on that at a later time But anyway, that's all I've got to say about insoles. We spent you know just under 15 minutes talking about an insole I do like it. I'll continue to use it for me It was a great investment for my feet for my back my legs everything else. I am on my feet all day I'm um, cutting hair, so no, no problems at all, no regrets on getting them. It's, it's good stuff. Take care. Thanks for watching.